Let me show you guys how I cook chicken kebabs with homemade boom boom sauce on the Weber. All right, guys, we've got our custom chimney here from Cotton Gin Smokers all fired up with roll oak charcoal. Let's get it dumped out in our Weber here. And get ready to cook some chicken kebabs. The first thing we want to do to our chicken once we get it all cut up into cubes. Now, you can cut it up any size cubes you want. Try to keep it uniform. I try to cut each boneless, skinless thigh into six individual pieces. I also took some onion and cut them up. I didn't keep the onion all uniform. There's really no need in it. I just want to put a little bit of onion on each skewer because that onion is going to help flavor this chicken. Now, the one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take some W Sauce Fireshire. This is their spicy version of their Worcestershire sauce. And I'm going to get some in this chicken. Now, I've touched chicken with this hand, but I've took my glove off. So I'm going to go ahead and dump a little bit in here. Just want to get a little bit in there, and then of course I'm going to come back with a little bit of my chicken rub now. So if you don't have either one of these, use whatever you like. I'm just trying to get a quick marinade on this chicken to impact a little more flavor. Now, once we get all that chicken in there like that, I'm going to take and kind of just make sure it's all mixed up well. Now, once we get all the chicken kind of incorporated in that, you can put this in a Ziploc bag or in the pan, put it in the fridge, let it marinate if you want. Today, I'm getting ready to skewer this up and go directly on the grill. This is a great tailgating appetizer you can use and skewer them up beforehand. Carry them out in a Ziploc bag or a pan out of your cooler. Put them on the grill, make a delicious snack. So let me slip on another glove and let's build these skewers. Now today, I've got some little bitty six inch wooden skewers. You can use whatever you like, whatever you have at home. All right, there's one skewer there. Let's keep going. Now that we've got our chicken kebabs all made up here, you can see I've got them in the same pan. I put some Worcestershire sauce on them to kind of let them marinate. I'm gonna take a little bit of my chicken rub here and just kind of ease over the top here. Now I'm gonna turn that over and repeat the process. Now that we've got our chicken kebabs all seasoned up, let's get over here to our Weber. We've got a two zone fire started with our Royal Oak Charcoal Briquettes. Let's get over here, get these on the cool zone of the fire, and then we're gonna get some char on near the very end. Now, when I talk about the cools on the fire, we've got all the ashes and hot coals lit on this side. The cool zone is going to be on this side. Let's take our chicken kebabs and get them laid down. Now, once we get them all on here, I'm going to take and shut my grill lid for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and then I'm going to flip them over and kind of rotate them, right? where the back will be toward the front. Shut the grill lid again, let it go another 15, 20 minutes, and we'll see where we're at to start basing on some sauce. All right, now it's time to make my version of what we call a boom boom sauce here. It's gonna be a mayonnaise-based sauce. So I've got a couple tablespoons of sriracha in here. You can always add more if you wanna make it more spicy. And I've got a couple tablespoons of just regular ketchup. Now, I'm gonna take about three quarters of a cup to a full cup of mayo and put in. I'm gonna put in a splash of the fire shire because that's what I marinated the chicken in. About a good tablespoon of that, just for some depth. Now I'm gonna come back with a little bit of that chicken rub. It's got garlic, onion powder in it, paprika, cumin, I'm gonna come back with that here. Salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, a little bit of that jalapeno powder. Put a little bit of that in there. Now, this is gonna be a new product that we're carrying in our stores called Drosco's Sweet Chili Sauce. I believe this is the best sweet chili sauce you can buy, hands down. They also have a regular or a mild and a spicy chutney. I can tell you, mixing these together, basing them on salmon, chicken, any, seafood is incredible. 
use it on everything. We happened to meet these people in Key West, Florida in the middle of a restaurant one night having dinner, just by chance. And I can tell you, two of the nicest people I've ever met, their products are phenomenal. So we're gonna add two to three tablespoons of sweet Thai chili sauce in here. All right, once I get that in, I'm gonna use, I wanna make sure I get no seeds in this, but I got about a half a lemon. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon juice in there, okay? Not quite a whole half a lemon, but just a little bit. Let's get this all mixed up here. Taste it and see if we need to adjust any of the flavors. All right, moment of truth. I'll leave that alone, that is damn good. Let's check our chicken. All right, we're back. Let's get these uh, chicken kebabs. They are starting to look great. I'm gonna take and turn these things around. Now, I'm gonna be honest, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and, let's go ahead and move some of this up here. Now, I'm gonna get that grill lid shut. I'm gonna stay here with this. I'm gonna give it about five minutes or so, and I'm gonna get in here and check them, turn them over, see if they need flipping again. Just keep rolling with it like that until we start painting sauce on them. All right, our chicken kebabs have been cooking about another 10 minutes. I've get in here and flipped them and moved them around several times. Now I'm gonna get my lid off. I've added a few more briquettes of charcoal about five minutes ago. And you can see we've got a little bit of uh, char starting to form on one side here. And so I've got them turned over, but before I turn them over, I'm gonna take some of our boom boom sauce here and just kind of paint on just like that. You see it's gonna start flaming up. I'm painting it on kind of thick, gonna get my tongs here and move it around now. Now you just wanna take and turn that over. Oh yeah, look at that little bit of char. That's what I'm wanting right there. All right, let's go ahead and get it basted on this side here. Oh, look at that. Look at that sizzle, that's what we're looking for. Let's get that moved over here. Now we're gonna take, get these turned back over a little bit. I'm gonna roll them in these flames. All right, when we got them all charred up, we're gonna move them over to one side. I'm gonna lightly just paint a little more sauce on here. Let that kind of drizzle off, melt on. Let's get this grill lid shut. I'm gonna let that sauce tack up for a couple more minutes. We're gonna pull these chicken kebabs off and they're gonna make you go boom. All right, guys, let's get these chicken kebabs off. Oh, Lord, I can tell you they look good. Look at this. Oh, man. A little bit of char, a little bit of flavor. Those are gonna be good. Those look and smell incredible. I love the little bits of char, the sauce, that fire shire on that chicken. Oh, I know this is gonna be so good. All right, guys, just to recap about our grilled chicken kebabs. The homemade boom boom sauce is out of this world. It tastes incredible. I know it's gonna taste good on this chicken. So just to recap, I took two packs of boneless, skinless chicken thighs, cut them into little individual bites. I cut each thigh into about six pieces. I then marinated them with some fire shire and some chicken rub. I cut up a whole white onion, kind of skewered some onion in between the chicken, seasoned it with more chicken rub, and got it on my grill. Let it cook on a two-zone fire, then started putting it over the coals to get a little bit of char to it. Started brushing it with that mayonnaise-based sauce. I can tell you, it got those flames jumping up, got the char I was looking for. These smell and look absolutely incredible, like I said before. It's time to get in here and try one. As you can see, we got some char, we got moisture. Let me get some of this off here. Mmm. This is absolutely packed with flavor. Just to describe the flavor on these guys, this has got some spicy back end heat to it. I can feel it burning in the back of my throat. That homemade boom boom sauce married well with this Fireshire W sauce. I can tell you this recipe right here is going in my dinner rotation at home. This is so simple, so easy. It's so juicy and flavorful. I mean, you guys really gotta give this chicken a try. The spicy, all the herbs, it is delicious. I don't know no other better way to say it. 
If you guys are looking for a recipe that's guaranteed to please anybody, you might want to cook this one, because I can tell you, it's really good. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Pinterest, and of course, YouTube. I'll see you next week with another video. Mm-mm-mm.